With 77% of Filipinos still without bank accounts, you can imagine the many opportunities there are for non-bank finance companies. Today, we talked to the head of the Philippine unit of check loans company, Home Credit, about what strides they're making to help Filipinos afford the life they want. Annika Vichard, president and CEO of Home Credit Philippines, now joins us live. Annika, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Good morning, Mimi. So you just uh, crossed your five-year mark this October. Congratulations. Thank five years you. going strong. It's been a fantastic five years. I can imagine. You've got 3.5 million customers already. So what you essentially do is you're an alternative to credit card, but without the interest. Yes. And automatic installment. Yeah. How Okay, tell us about your business model. <laughs> Sorry, uh, well, just to put it very simply, we offer affordable installments uh, for the mass market in general. Uh, what you do is you enter one of our retail stores or one of our partner retail stores. Uh, you, you choose your favorite gadget, maybe a smartphone here in the Philippines, of course. Uh, and you talk to one of our sales associates and we, we will uh, make sure you apply for one of our installments. Mm -hmm. And so 25 billion by end of this year, mm -hmm. what's the growth target for next year? We have not really put up a specific growth target for next mm -hmm. year. I would say that just as much as growing in terms of receivables and in terms of customers, we want to make sure we have loyal customers. Yeah, nine so, out of 10 of your clients actually recommend you. Does that mm -hmm. mean that nine out of 10 of your clients are returning regular active clients? They're not yet returning, uh, but they're recommending uh, mm -hmm. them uh, to, to friends or family. Mm -hmm. But we have many returning clients. And of right course, now, are you break even already? Uh, five years, when did you break even? Because again, the other unit in India is just about to go break even next year. Yeah. Their sixth or seventh year already. We How broke, fast did you break even? We there? broke even last year. Wow. And I think this is also thanks to obviously having a big international group behind us. Many of the other businesses in other countries have a lot of experience that we have leveraged. So, I mean, we were the first one in the group to actually break even after four years. So very proud of that. The smallest company, but I would say so far the quickest one to break even. Nice. Mm -hmm. wow. Let's talk about your clientele now. 3.5 million uh, customers in your base. Tell us about your average home credit customer. Mm. We're nationwide as per now. So obviously mm -hmm. we will find our customers from, from the very north to the very south mm -hmm. of the Philippines. Generally, I would divide it into three customer groups. Mm -hmm. uh, normally, someone who's maybe new into the labor market, working in a BPO, buying one of their first smartphones, upgrading from a feature from their smartphone. Uh, I also see a lot of new homeowners and families going into appliances, maybe buying their first TV. Mm -hmm. That would be the sec second uh, uh, customer group. And third but not last, uh, entrepreneurs who wants to start their first business. Okay, let's talk about risk management mm. because you pretty much act like a credit card, but mm -hmm. it's also much faster considering you get approval for the loan in about 10 minutes. Mm. You just require two IDs yeah. from the customer. How do you make sure that the people that you accept as clients ha actually have the capacity to pay? Mm. And this is actually one of our really core competences as know-how. Mm -hmm. We have strong uh, risk systems and back-end systems uh, backed by technology in general. We base our credit decision, uh, number one, what information you as a customer give us and give consent to. Mm -hmm. We take that through our systems and we make an assessment. So it's all very technology driven. Mm -hmm. And uh, what is the default rate? Well, let me start by saying I think most of our customers uh, here in the Philippines are very responsible and committed. So most of them pay back on mm -hmm. time and on target. From time to time, of course, they run into difficulties or maybe just forget to pay. Uh, but we have good processes for following that up as well. Uh, reaching out to the mass market, of course, the, the defaults are going to be slightly higher than the banks, but quite reasonable at about 5.5%. Thank you very much, Annika, for joining us and good luck. Thank Congratulations you. again, five years.